Chair. Well, yesterday we spoke actually before um, Ollie was appointed the uh, Blackpool Chairman, uh, sorry, uh, Manager, um, and we tried to actually secure his tenure then. Uh, we got on like a house on fire actually on that occasion. Um, we, we spoke <coughs> two times. The first time um, uh, we expressed interest and he said, leave it with me, uh, let, let me think about it. Um, contacted him as we'd agreed and he knew by that time everything about our players. Tom knew his inside leg measurement, which way he turned and the rest of the squad he went through and just understood. Where he got the information from I don't know, but he saw it as we see it as fans in terms of the strengths and weaknesses of players without actually um, being at the club. So clearly as a detailed uh, manager. Um, he clearly works on, on people's persona and puts arms around people and gets the best out of them. That's so why, at, at unfashionable clubs, he's been very successful. So we're hoping that we can replicate some of those successes here and we're going to be on a great journey. At that time, my family situation wasn't right to, to be here. It's, it's quite a long way away from where my grandchildren are growing up now and my children are growing up themselves. Um, Granny and me... We're ready for another challenge. I was getting lots and lots of work. I was loving it, but I can't describe being part of something. How, it, how I miss that, you know, and, and trying to affect things. And the way the game is at the moment is so exciting. Absolutely. I don't think it's ever been better. Um, the coaches, uh, the way they are changing the game, in my opinion, the top, top clubs. And I want to find ways to to make people improve, young people, you know, and I miss that vibe and I miss that challenge and, and I miss the smiles that you see, even when it goes wrong, when you encourage someone, I miss that, I want to get going again and, and I believe the people who pay their money to come here, we're going to get on because I think we're similar, you know, we've, we've had tough lives, good lives, honest lives and we want a, our football club to to be that joy at the end of the week rather than the, the, the moon. So, you know, and, and what I don't, I don't come here to waste my time, I come here to try and make a difference. And, and hopefully that will bring enjoyment here. You know, when you're not winning, no one enjoys it. But I'm different now, I can learn from when I'm not winning. And I'll show these lads what they've done right and what they can do to get it better. And as long as they keep trying as hard as they are, then they'll never fall foul of me. You know, the second they don't, I'm not having them, you know, very much like my hero. Lazy players were going to be put in jail if you listen to Mr Shankly. That's how much he felt about it. And I feel that he was right a lot of the time. So, you know, if I can... It's weird, I feel like I'm walking in his shoes, you know, the great Lauren McMenemy. I feel like I'm so privileged to, to walk in their shoes, to do the job that they did and try and do it justice. That's how I feel. What are the targets? No targets. Win every week, obviously, but whether you can or not, doesn't matter. It's to keep smiling, enjoy what you do, and, and improve and get better. And hopefully, the, if we can't get to the level that the lads are good enough to get to after the coaching that we do and the, the encouraging that we do, then we'll let them get there and we'll reinvest the money and these chaps won't have to throw any more money in. Or myself, you know, hopefully we'll... we'll We'll get it right and we'll grow and we'll get there because, you know, there, there is good ways of doing it. There are good clubs that can do it and you need an infrastructure, but you need time. And if you look at Brentford, to me, they're getting better and better all the time. They keep selling their best players, but they still keep improving and they'll have a brand new ground soon. With this man behind it, I believe we'll have a brand new ground if that's what we get and if that's what we want. And I believe in what he says. So I'm really looking forward to the, just getting getting the gloves back off, getting out there, let's have a go, here we go, and you know, and try and help people. That's what it's all about, really. And do it with a smile. You know, I missed I miss the the ups and downs and the you know, but I'm in a so much better place in my life where that win that defeat won't be hell on earth. I'll have learnt from it. You know, I, I believe I can see those things now and and then keep moving forward. That's all you can do. You bought some shares in the club. Can you explain the thinking between between you on that? Commitment. You know? Um, one of my clubs didn't believe I had commitment in Millwall. They thought I was taking from the club, from the from the owner. The last thing that I want anybody to, 
ever do is I've done well in my life. I've been very fortunate to have a little bit of success, but what I want to do is keep growing. And I believe this is a project that is worthy of me believing in it. The people are worthy of me believing in it. The fans are worthy of me believing in it. And I will do all I can to try and take the thing forward. So it's important they understand that. You talk about the project. Can you just put, put a bit of meat on the bones there? What, what do you mean by that? When, when, when I say project, the project for me is to get hold of a young kid who don't think he's quite good enough. He don't think he's bad, but he don't think he's good enough for Premier League and give him Premier League standards. Train him in a Premier League way and make him believe that he can shine. That's the project, and every one of my lads who I'll be getting hold of will be a project to me. The club is the project, the people in it are, to get them to believe in themselves. I believe strongly that every one of us has an ability to shine, but we don't believe in that ability. And I want to get that out of everybody. How does this challenge compare, Ian, to your days in the Premier League? I think it's a greater challenge. Um, if you listen to a lot of people, though, they're like, those lads are in the division because they can't do these things. I believe they can with the right coaching, with the right tuition. I believe I've done it before and I want to do it again. You know, and, and I don't see a limit in anyone unless they put that limit on themselves. So if they're not being told that, they'll be told that from me. And then, you know, but again, it's about knowing that, of experiencing it yourself played in every level, I've played 600, nearly 700 games, I've managed nearly a thousand games, you don't do that without earning the right to know what you're saying, and sometimes I've said it in ways that people think is funny, I'm not a comedian, I can be funny, I love comedy, because it's helped me in my life, because you have ups and downs, like everybody does, and um, I want to be there for the people that we've got here, and the people that we bring here. And I want to bring a lot more people to come and sit down and watch because we need them. We need them to make our dreams come true. And for me, there's no limit at the moment. And I can pop clubs into your head <coughs> over and over again who have surprised people. They've had bad times, they've had good times. And at the end, you have to just keep moving forward. And I believe we are going to move forward. So... Will you be on the touchline tomorrow or in the stand? Um, try and keep me off it. I, I want to meet the lads. I haven't met the lads yet. Obviously, the timing of this is, is, is not good, really, for everybody. Um, I'm delighted that they've finally made their mind up because I made it totally clear that I was ready, really up for this. But, you know, in fairness, it's, we got to grab the opportunity now. So um, I found out later than this yesterday that he would definitely want me up here so we changed everything got our dogs looked after um, brought my wife up um, couldn't find anywhere for our four little dogs um, so on my boys having to move over our house and look after them because it's important that when I start something my wife's with me because we're in this together and I can happily say we've had 32 33 years this year and um, she's given me permission to come here because she believes in it and um, that means the world to me. John, just a final one from me. Um, how ambitious have you needed to be to get Ollie to the club? It's fair to say that we pushed the boat out. I'm sure some fans will seize up on that quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know, it's been a tough job getting to where we needed to get to to make this happen. Um, Ollie's sacrifice is that he's given up his uh, marine, um, media career, for want of a better description, and his, his speaker um, circuit. Uh, you know, uh, the, sort of the, the dues that he goes to, he can unlock sort of two and a half, three and a half thousand pound a night. Um, so he's clearly giving up a, an awful lot by choosing to go back into football. We recognise that. We couldn't compete with that income stream, quite frankly, and that's the sacrifice that Ollie's made. So there's been sacrifices and support given to make this happen. Um, that's behind us now. We've got the deal done, and now it's about how we can unlock the opportunity. Um, Ollie's talked about the project and give some clarification to that. You also asked, um, in, a, in essence, I think you meant the bigger project. It's fair to say, um, in terms of relocation, it's hugely important to this board. Um, we've been speaking to uh, two parties for too long to mention. Um, that's old hat. I don't want to go back into that. 
Um, there is somewhat of a, a deadline being set um, because a couple of weeks into uh, January, if actually um, nothing is cemented uh, in the context of that's been made known locally, uh, then the board will put up the shutters and it will pursue relocation on its own two feet, which I've never been afraid of. You know that. We've had a couple of goes at reload before. We didn't have the political support on two occasions, otherwise, in truth, we would have delivered. Now, I just have to, at this point, um, uh, state my interest. I am a councillor for North East Links Council, actually the deputy leader. Um, so I have to declare an interest. We can now uh, move away from that and talk on behalf of the football club it's quite clear publicly, only just a few days ago, the leader of the council, as indeed the previous leader, um, cemented their support for the club to relocate. One step further, he's put it on his wish list. He's also identified Freeman Street as that location. I don't think we can be in a better spot in terms of now pursuing relocation. I have to be careful about declarations of interest. He put that message out without any persuasion from me whatsoever. We couldn't be in a better spot now to make this happen. You know, it's, it's fair to say, I'll go back into politics if I may, um, albeit I've declared that interest. Um, Lincolnshire is entirely blue in terms of MPs. Uh, we've seen money come into this area that we've never seen before, even when it was a Labour administration, because we've got a very, very supportive government wanting to support the northern towns. We've had lacking investment for too many years to mention. That is now changing because we've got a Conservative um, Council and we've also got a Conservative Government with all those MPs within Lincolnshire Blue. We've got a very, very strong voice to make things happen. If we can't make relocation happen this time, it's a poor show. Um, so we're hugely optimistic. So in terms of the wider project, relocation is hugely important. I wish you well with it. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Any further questions, please? OK, well, uh, it leaves me to thank you all for coming. Um, I'd just like to uh, say to Ollie, I couldn't be more pleased. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. I think there's a breath of fresh air. So in bumpy ride, just make sure you've got your seatbelts on. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thanks for choosing me. Is this house moved forward?